Hello, this lesson is from one of our courses over at Print That Thing, where we help people learn 3D print design. If you haven't already, you can get the free startup file to hack Blender for your 3D printer at ptt.live. Let's get to designing. So in this lesson, I want to teach you how to set up Blender for your 3D printer. So go ahead and just make a new project, or you can do File, New, General. And you should see this cube here. And if we click on the cube and hit in for information, you'll see that Blender is natively in meters. So this is a two meter cube. It means it's ginormous. It's like 2000 millimeters. Uh, so I know most of y'all don't have 3D printers that big. If you do, let me know because I'm trying to 3D print a house and I could use that, <laughs> but you probably don't. So let's go ahead and set this up for your 3D printer. And I've made it a little bit easier for you and made a project file that you can download in this video. So go ahead and pause the video and download the project file that's attached to this video lesson. And then once you have it downloaded, just remember where you saved it and then go into Blender and click on File, Open. And it'll ask you to, you know, do you want to save this current project? Just say, don't save. And then find that file. It'll say Blender for 3D printing, layout default. So go ahead and open that up. And you should see right away you've got this monkey. And if we zoom out a little bit, you'll see this big box around Suzanne. And that is the 3D printer. I've also added some lights and there's a tiny little camera right here. Um, if you ever wanted to hit zero and go into your kind of camera view. But what we can do here is, um, you know, type in your printer dimensions here. So on the top right, you should see CR10 volume. Go ahead and click on that. And you can't click it in the window here because I have the checkbox turned off. So you can't, it's kind of non-clickable. Uh, so, you know, if you want to turn that back on, you can, but just try and click it here in the layers. And then if you go to item on the information tab, you just want to type in your printer build volume dimensions. So if you have a smaller printer, you know, you could do 100 by 100 by 100. Uh, and that would make, you know, a smaller kind of box there. You could also, you know, move it down if you needed to and just hit G. You know, grab that little box, hit G and Z and move it down kind of near the plane. Uh, but yeah, just type in any dimensions you have. I have a CR10, so I'm just going to leave it at 300 by 300 by 400. And that way, when you're building something in 3D space, you're getting a kind of a sense of how, how large your, your designs are. And notice that it used to say meters right here. Now it's got double M's, which just means millimeters. So now we've switched Blender into millimeters. We've updated the grid. And if you go into render mode, uh, you should have a red texture here on your Suzanne. So now you're ready to rock. If you want to know every little thing that we have done to get this set up, there's a video later in the series called Hack Blender for Your 3D Printer. And that will actually show you every single step that we took to get to this point. But, um, you know, this is just kind of a quick way to do it um, so that you can kind of get everything set up. But here's the trick. Um, so now you've got this project open. You know, we don't want to have to open this project every time we want to make something. So what we can do is tell Blender to save this as our default. So we'll want to go to File, Defaults, and then you have to hit this twice. You want to hit Save Startup File twice. So hit it once and then hit it again. And there you go. So now you're ready to go for 3D printing. And you can create this any way you want. So if there's a way that you want Blender to open every time, then you can customize this window. You can customize you know, how everything's laid out and then just save your default. So let me show you how this works. If I close it, um, sure, we can save. Now, anytime that I open up Blender and hit General, hey, hey, it's already ready to go. We've got everything set. We've got our 3D print tools. We've got our add-ons. We've got, you know, everything ready to rock. We've got lights already set up. And like I said, if you wanna know exactly how to do this step-by-step, then there is a video for you out there, but it is totally optional. So let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson. To learn more about 3D print design, visit ptt.live.